The ultimate bug out. This is Throttle Up Prepper. The ultimate bug out. This is Throttle Up Prepper. I am Jeff. Welcome to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe today and uh, make sure you click that like button and hit the notification bell icon so you are notified every time we upload and uh, you don't miss a thing that way um for those of you who have been subscribed thank you thank you thank you i uh, just realized that my one year anniversary is coming up uh, i mentioned it the other day december 28th one full year <sighs> can't believe it anyway on to the ultimate bug out now this isn't so much me teaching you something uh, or, you know, bringing up something you hadn't thought about or maybe, maybe not. But I want to spark a conversation here. This isn't what I had planned today. But as I was sitting here getting ready to record, I thought, you know, this is one that needs to be discussed. When we think of bugging out, you know, we think about our backpacks, our 12-hour uh, packs, 24, 72 hours. We got all kinds of stuff. And a lot of us uh, imagine, especially those of us in more urban or even congested suburban uh, areas, uh, basically anything short of rural, we think about, wow, in a, in a WROL or, you know, junk hitting the fan or, you know, some other bad situation, we're going to grab our packs and we're going to bug out. We're going to go to the woods, go to the mountains, find a cave. We're going to live our lives out or at least, you know, live for perhaps an extended period of time. You know, in relative safety, man. What if things get bad to the point where, and I don't know, you fill in the blank, whatever, whatever scenario, whether it's uh, World War Three, whether foreign armies, you know, maybe Russia's coming down through Canada, uh, China's coming up through Mexico, whatever, you know, fill in the blanks. Uh, use the comment section to uh, put your two cents in because it's worth a whole lot more than that today. I'll tell you, but what if you had to do the ultimate bug out? What if it became necessary or at least a good idea to bug out all the way? I mean, leave the country. Are you prepared for that? Do you know where you would go? Do you have the means by which to get there? Whether it's uh, financially or, you know, gold and silver coins, you know, in World War II, uh, it was asked of a, of a Jewish woman, uh, who had escaped uh, the Nazis uh, during World War II, you know, many, 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 many years later. Uh, she was an old woman, and uh, they asked, like, well, how much gold and silver did you have to have? And her answer was this, enough to bribe the border guards. What that translates into today, I have no idea. But one of the things we uh, need to be prepared is for a scenario. What if we... You know, what if we need to go to Canada, cross the border? What if we need to go to Mexico? What if we need to get on a ship? Or, you know, if planes are running, you need to take a flight out of the country. Whatever. Uh, or <laughs> do it on foot or bicycle. You name it. Do you have a passport? Should you have a passport? I mean, if things go that badly, uh, having the old uh, eagle with the shield and, um, and arrows <laughs> in the United States, is that a liability? Sorry about the edit. Uh, I'm all confused now. The computer locked up. I'm going to try to jump back into this. So, yeah, the whole passport thing. Uh, do you have one? You should have one. Uh, should you bring it? Could be a liability. Could not. I don't know. But uh, I was thinking about this at any rate because uh, about a year ago, oh, we went out. <laughs> I'm guessing that big ding just uh, showed up on the uh, video. We'll let it go, though life it happens so uh yeah we went on a cruise and it was last minute enough that we had to get our passports uh expedited and it was going to be much quicker to get the version of the passports that you can only use on land crossings i.e going to canada or mexico or uh a seaport uh, on, on a cruise ship or, or something of that nature uh, can't use it at the airport so we don't have that kind, and I'm thinking mm, maybe might be a worthy idea to upgrade. Uh, maybe the others will be fine. Um, but where would you go? Uh, having one uh, or the other or both is, I think, a good place to start just to have it. 
Because, uh, again, what if you had to leave the country? What if things got that bad that hanging out in the woods is not really a good idea? You know, where do you go? Do you speak Spanish? Hmm, Mexico might be good. Uh, Central America, South America might be good. Uh, I, I don't know. I know people do it all the time. They go to countries, they don't speak the language, and they just learn as they go. I don't know if I could do that. Belize would be a nice option, a Central American country that speaks uh, English uh, as a main language. That would be good. i got connections to other places in the world that uh, may or may not be possible uh, to go to. But I just wanted to bring it up. I don't have an answer. Uh, just thinking this through just now, like I said before, uh, we went to, to make this video. Um, but I, I don't recall. Maybe there's a ton of videos out there. I haven't researched it. I don't recall over this past year seeing anything about being prepared to bug out of the country. Um, like I said, usually it's about uh, living out in the woods and, you know, a cave or having a, having a cabin somewhere. All great ideas, uh, working on it myself. But at any rate, uh, you know, down below in the comments, what are your thoughts? Are you ready? Are you prepared? Do you have a plan? I hate to say it, but other than having a, you know, the lesser form of the passports. I am kind of without a solid plan right now. Something I'm going to start thinking about. Maybe you should too. We don't know what's coming our way, but it's definitely time for all of us to throttle up. If you haven't been by the website, make sure you do it. Throttleupprepper.com. And until next time, God bless. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.